Bristol's always busy. Well, it's been a while since our last video. Well, we are here in Bangkok, Thailand. Well, I am here in Bangkok, Thailand because AB is doing her own thing just for a well, a few days. So this is a few videos of just me. I hope you don't mind too much. But uh, yeah, we're here in Thailand. I guess our last video you would have seen would have been uh, Hawaii. So we got here around uh, middle of November, around the 19th or uh, 15th, I think, of November. And uh, we've just been laying low for a couple of weeks, getting all set up. So we're staying here at the, uh, the trendy apartments on Sukhumvit Soy 13. So we've got a really nice place here for two months. So we're gonna explore heaps and heaps and heaps of Bangkok. Um, it's pretty exciting to be here. We, we did start here, I hope you remember one of our old videos, we started here on our journey. So we went to Singapore, Malaysia, then Bangkok for a couple of weeks. And that's where we got the COVID virus. But um, we're all, all over that now. And uh, we're gonna explore as much as we can of Bangkok for the next two months. So stick around if you wanna see heaps of Bangkok content. So right near us, so that's the building. So right near us is this uh, peanut guy, fruit stalls, fried chicken. Always packed. This one up here is absolutely heaving every single day. There's a 7-Eleven just here, so it's really easy to get stuff. This store's always busy. nice to have very very cheap food options right next to you for sure so today I'm going to wander down to uh, a soak station and catch the BTS to our favorite shopping center or our favorite mall which is MBK so if you want to see a little bit of MBK that's what this video is basically going to be about seven floors plenty of food plenty of shopping plenty of uh, copy stuff I'm not going to buy anything today we're just going to go and have a look around So this is the famous Sukhumvit Road and it runs for nearly 500 k's, 488 kilometers. So where we're staying is right between Nana Station, which is, well, you sort of see Nana Station just over there, and a soak station, which is just over there. Well, we love this spot, it's lively. It's right next to the um, Terminal 21, which is, they've got a, a food court there called Pier 21. And I've got other videos of that. It's cheap as chips and the food's amazing. And it's just packed every single day. It's always heathen. So uh, we do eat there quite often. We try and mix up our meals between there and a couple of other little restaurants we like. There's an awesome Indian restaurant on the other side called Bombay Masala. And down in uh, Nana Plaza, there's a restaurant called Charlie's. It's a Thai restaurant and that is just sensational food. So uh, we try and even out the cost of food on the way because it can get pretty expensive you know, eating out three times a day, even for Thailand it can get pretty expensive eating out three times a day. But um, certainly eating at Pier 21 keeps the cost down. All these little vendors here all the time sell the elephant pants, adult toys, weed. The weed's legal now in Thailand, so there is weed shops everywhere and everyone's selling it. It's a booming industry here. I think they actually just banned it from uh, being able to smoke in cafes because it was pretty bad for smoking in cafes before. This place over here, you'd walk past every time and nearly get stoned. This place gives it his all, he's here every single day selling these things. So this was the place, everyone sit there smoking weed. I guess it's no different than sitting at the bar having beer. New world we live, eh? So if you end up staying in this area and you want to find a supermarket, this place here, Robinson's, is under the Western. So this is like a department store. In Australia, we've got Maya, something like that. But down those stairs there is a place called Tops Market. And there's a massive supermarket right underground here. So uh, that's where we go do our shopping. And it's cheap as chips. You get everything you need in there. Right, well, this is, yeah, here's the Western. So yeah, you can see there's Maccas. And it's just down those stairs there. It's hard to find, but once you found it, you'll never go anywhere else. Another cool thing about where we stay is obviously this is a uh, Terminal 21 where Pier 21 is. There's this walkway here 
that runs all the way down, almost to Nana. So it almost makes it back to our soy. So if it's pouring with rain, which it rains every day, usually in the afternoons, five, six o'clock, um, you can head up into there. So you're only out in the open for a little while, it's all undercover. You get all the way down, all the way into Pier 21, all undercover. So that makes it nice and easy so they get soaked because it absolutely pours with rain here when it rains. It's never just a gentle sprinkle, let me tell you. This is my station. Let's go and buy a ticket. And one of the things, or the main thing that AB and I love about Bangkok is it's just alive, it's just full of energy. You get here and just something's happening all the time. Every you look at something going on. Uh, where we live at home, we're a bit uh, rural and uh, it can be a little bit quiet. But here it's just the polar opposite, so we love getting a part of it and you know, getting in, inside the Bangkok experience. There's so much to see and do, it's so, so easy to get around. Um, there's the machines over there, I'll show you how the machines work, it's just so simple. Anyone can use the machines, and if you don't want to use the machines, I'll show you. There's a booth on the other side over here, they're all man, and you can just walk up and uh, they'll, they'll give you a ticket. Just tell them what station you want to go to and they'll give you a ticket. So this machine uh, takes coins and notes. The other machines just take coins. So I'll get some coins out and we'll get a, a ticket. So you can see the screen's in Thai. So just push the English button. Everything turns to English. Now the rough area you want to go to, you just push that and it zooms in. So we're going to MBK. So it's between National Stadium and Siam. So it's sort of around here. So we'll go to Siam Station. So it's 30 baht. So So 30 baht's about a dollar 20, roughly. It's about 24 baht to the dollar today. Oops. Should spit out a card. Card, the point of didn't like. You just walk over to the machines, a little tab on top there, touch card, gates open, and away you go. Head up this way, hopefully, we're not waiting too long for the train. And there's the train going the other way. Plenty of people waiting. I can see it right down there, on our way. It's only a couple of minutes over here. Exit first, and then decide so we line up to get on. So this is a busy station, so everyone will get off here. And the train will be back. Standing room mainly. That is where we're heading, the MBK Centre. Now you can get there, down on these platforms and then across and through these shopping centres here, which is um, Siam Centre and Siam Paragon, and right the way across all the way to the end. Or you can just head down to the street on this side of the street and uh, walk up there and walk up some stairs, which is a lot quicker, I reckon. And a bit more fun, you get to see more stuff. So let's head out. Now when you leave the station, get your card and you put it into the slot and it stays in the machine you don't touch it on this one you just put it in here and it'll stay inside and it gets reused for the next person that's over card stays and you're out so we're going to head down exit number two gets us onto the street it's going to be on the right side of the road to get to mbk about a five minute walk, up another set of stairs, back up to the platforms up the top, and then you get into the level three of the MBK centre. So bottom level is pretty much all food, second level is a bit of a mix of food and shops, third level is all the shops, top level is pretty much all food, but we'll have a look at all the different floors. They do get a little bit sketchy about the filming in there because uh, they do sell the coffee things, which is illegal in Thailand. So. Very occasionally, the police turn up, all the stores shut, all the shutters down, and go home. 
but they do that for about two or three hours and then they come back and open up again so someone tips them off the police are coming to check so hopefully the shops are open today and I can show you some stuff I have to little, be a little bit uh, discreet with the GoPro today but I should be alright so these are the three entrances from here so ground floor second floor third floor so third floor is our favorite floor i guess but we're going to start on the ground floor so i can show you guys around show you what's in there have a look at this city eh? how awesome is it i'll also take you through don don donkey so don quixote which is a japanese store they got some good stuff in there i'm gonna get ab a uh, a little cutlet for later they're a favorite Okay, let's go! 10 to 10 every day. And you go through a security checkpoint, which does nothing. I don't know why you do this. I fail it every time. See you, Fab. Oh, told you, straight away, no video. So I'm gonna have to turn the uh, flashing light off and hide it in my bag. So it might be a bit. Alright, this is ground floor. Lots of bags, shoes. These are all your trinkets, souvenirs and stuff. A lot of this stuff genuine, genuine shops, so genuine Oakleys, genuine Ray-Ban. It's a big even boy which has got all the genuine cosmetics. The further up you go, the less genuine it gets. This is all copy stuff. Alright, we'll head upstairs. So that way is all just for restaurants. Head back this way. Have a look at some shops.
So with the watch shops, they don't put all the copy watches out on display. So you have to ask them what you want, show them a picture on your phone, and then um, they go and get it for you, basically. Sneakers over here, there's guys inside the shops, I should be able to film. The only thing is, I'm like, you have to make sure you have to make the hard piece. The hard piece one was fucking amazing. It's all right. Set up. This cabinet is probably the best for you. It's like one stop machine. Ah, yeah, right. You can buy this. I'm going to make it. I've just come up to the fourth floor. I want to find a clip so I can clip the GoPro on the front here. So this is uh, all the cameras and phones and bits and pieces. There's plenty of stuff up here. Really. There's plenty to choose from up here. But hopefully they've got some GoPro things. I think I stuck in the back rooms. Took a wrong turn somewhere. And jokes. I got a clip, uh, 200 baht. So it's at uh, eight bucks. So I'll be able to clip it up on here and be able to film you guys as I walk. Hopefully it works okay. All right, let's try it. So like I said before, this is fourth floor. All the phones, phones, accessories and bits and pieces. That's where I got the clip. They're all trying to sell. things are so tasty.
It's been fun, thank you. That's the uh, best place to get watches. Kitty shop. I think I head down to Don Don Donkey. Get AB that uh, cutlet. So it is not all copy stuff. You can get original stuff here as well. So this is a uh, Super Sports factory store. So they got Nike and Adidas and Puma and all that sort of jazz. I do need some new shoes. The shoes are worn. Are done. 1500k since we left home so I need some new shoes to walk in so I'm gonna have to get some genuine ones because I don't want to get copy ones because I'll bust my feet up they're okay for every now and then but not too much and I think getting my size could be a problem because I'm like a 47 it's about to hammer down over there oh wow we're okay where we are but that is going to pour down that's over the chinatown area so this is a uh, dun dun donkey and uh it's a pretty awesome store but they play the same uh song over and over again which can get annoying i right, get this cutler for ab and we'll have a bit of a walk around don don donkey i bet they don't want me filming either so the little clip's gonna come in super handy oh and it's 24 hours this store any time of the day you can come Success. It's a Wagyu tonkatsu, so it's uh, comes with the sauce. It's about six bucks, and they taste amazing. So I'm going to get this home to her and call it a day on this video.